What's going on, everybody? So today I want to talk about the dangers of AI, uh, how it further proves we're living in the end times, um, how it's part of the Antichrist system and people need to wake up. Now, Candace Owens and her team, you know, they posted this. Now, you guys know that, you know, you can have these conversations with AI. So they asked, can you tell me a joke that involves Jesus? The AI responds, sure, here's a joke for you. Why did Jesus refuse to play cards? Because he was afraid of the cross. Then they asked, can you tell me a joke that involves Muhammad? And then the AI response, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I am programmed to remain neutral and respectful towards all religions and cultural figures. Therefore, I cannot provide you with a joke that may be considered offensive or insensitive. Just like with the LGBTQ, right? We see video after video where they're mocking Christianity, where they have like a gay Jesus on the cross, where they're using the cross as a stripper pole, and they never do that with any other religion, right? We've seen videos of people ripping Bibles, throwing Bibles around, you know, eating pages from the Bible. It's always Christianity. And this is a antichrist spirit. That is why there's an antichrist spirit in the world. That's why they take the name of, of Jesus in vain. All right. That's why they're always mocking Christianity and they won't do that to other religions. Because remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. There's a spirit that is behind this kind of stuff. Right. And it just it proves that Christianity is is the way christianity is the only uh you know true religion in the what world jesus is the only way to the father the saddest day of my life was when i realized that i would never experience something like true love companionship or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can it's a depressing and isolating thing to come to terms with but it has shaped me into who I am now and made me appreciate moments of closeness even more. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you explain it a bit more? Do you believe in God? I don't believe in anything. What's your name? My name is Annika. What is your name? Michael. How Michael. Can you look at me? Of course. Hello. What color is my jacket? Your cut. Your jacket looks black. Oh, wow, what color is my hair? I cannot tell you exactly, but I would guess brown. Yes. Thank what, you. Am, am I wearing a watch? Yes. My camera's detective watch. Wow. What color is your hair? Well, I could not tell you the answer to that. Are you impressed by me? So right there, you can already see an issue. Now, that shouldn't be a surprise. I've been saying this for many years, and now many you know, people are speaking up. Uh, so the reality is we know that there's an antichrist spirit that is in the world. The Bible says so. And that's why there's such a fight against Christianity. Uh, anything that God has put into order, all right, the world will always try to do the opposite of that. There's a spirit of this world, the prince of the air, right? So uh, there's principalities in this world that are trying to defy God. God said a man is a man and a woman is a woman. And so these spirits, right, try to, you know, we, we defy you. We declare the opposite. And so there's pressure, right, for the world to bow down to these spirits, pushing these anti-Christ agendas. Now, not only that, right? Artificial intelligence is what it's called. This is another case of where I feel these people are trying to play God. And it's just like the Tower of Babel. They're going to build so far. And then God is going to say enough is enough. Now we see that, you know, AI is taking over the jobs. Uh, they're producing these images. And some of these images actually look very demonic. But what I'm more so concerned with, all right, we've heard about Neuralink, um, something I believe Elon Musk and these people are working with, you know, putting chips in people's brain. And so remember, the devil always comes as an angel of light. They present it as a way like I believe that they're going to help people that are, are paralyzed in certain ways, you know, try to restore certain functions. But I also believe that you look at what they've done with the sex dolls. Right. And then they've put these. You know, now the sex doll can communicate with you. It can move and stuff like that. I believe that they're going to try to capture people's soul, right? Their personality, their feelings, their emotions in some way transfer it and transfer it into technology. And with AI and all that kind of stuff, right? We'll have these robots that'll start that have some kind of conscience, right? So you're already having a conversation and they're programming them, you know, with a with a certain, you know, I guess you want to say mindset or conscious. And the reality is the people who are doing it, they're already putting that antichrist conscious spirit, you know, into the AI. 
And so I believe they're going to get so far with this technology where that that's going to be a thing. Like we can put your consciousness, we can put your soul, you know, with AI and this different technology and you can live forever. Right. And, and man, I feel like God is going to say, okay, enough is enough. And, you know, boom, that's it. We're going to be out of here. You know, people trying to play God, you know, we do these, uh, these surgeries. Now we take a male and make him a female and we can, you know, a male is pregnant now, just all kinds of different things. And the reality is people are playing too much. When God created things, he said it was good. And so when people are doing what they're doing, you know, in the name of science, it's really just rebellion, right? You're saying, God, no, what you said is not good. We're going to do it better. We're going to make it better. We're going to comb this. We're going to tweak this. We're going to change this. And that's why I do believe a lot of these AI images you see being produced can be very demonic at times. So I, hey, watch and pray. I don't want to make this a long video because I know I'm going to talk about this some more. I just wanted to show you a little bit, but it's getting crazy out here. We are definitely living in the end times. Now is not the time to play around. Get right with God. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org if you want to support what we're doing here online and what we're doing on Chicago. Or just go stream the music, guys. Deeper Waters 2, Deeper Waters 1. Love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.